Yo, what is going on everyone? I'm Yigai Rez and I am back again with y'all on my channel for another video yet again. Welcome back everyone. So in this video today guys, I am going to showcase a new pair of sneakers that I am adding to my rotation and collection once again, guys. This sneaker has been something that I have been anticipating for a very long time. It is a pair of Air Jordan 1s, guys. And I know I showcase a lot of Air Jordan 1s, but you know, I just love Jordan 1s and dunks, man. So the sneaker that I'm referring to, guys, is none other than these Air Jordan 1s, and these are dubbed as the UNC Toe colorways. Jordan 1 UNC Toe released on July 22nd, 2023 at most sneaker retailers. And this shoe retailed for $180. After taxes and such, I paid about $196 and some change. Big shout outs to Shoe Palace again for dropping this dope release. And you know, shout outs to Shoe Palace for also still doing actual physical raffles, guys. I know a lot of places now that do, you know, raffles for sneakers and such, they usually do like an app, but you know, Shoe Palace keeps it OG, you know, with the traditional sign up. If you win, they call you. I won actually multiple pairs at most of the Shoe Palaces that I signed up for, but you know, I only picked up one pair because you know, I'm not in this game to like resell or nothing like that. I just wanted to make sure I secured my pair. I got it, so really excited for this one. So I just wanna showcase the box real quick because it is really nice. I love the color. You get a UNC blue that is just surrounding the entire box and you get that Nike swoosh of course you know as of late jordan brand has really been giving us nice jordan one boxes with the color pertaining to the actual colorway of the sneaker guys this one of course you know you have this nice unc blue but you know previous releases like the celtic ones had that black and green swoosh and then even with the yellow toes you have that nice predominantly yellow and black on the box so you know i like that man this makes the box really special unfortunately mine came a little crushed so, you know, there were some dings and stuff like that, but, you know, even some tears right here, but, you know, it's not the shoe that's actually damaged, so I'm not too mad about that. Taking out the lid, you just get a plain cardboard inside, and then, of course, you get plain tissue paper. Nothing too special about the packaging for this Air Jordan 1 release. So let me just highlight the quality on this Air Jordan 1. It seems like a lot of people love to compare the leather quality on Air Jordan 1s, if it has leather, of course. But this Air Jordan 1 quality of leather is very comparable to the yellow toes that dropped previously last year and also the Celtic ones that dropped earlier this year, guys. Um, it is not like shattered backboard quality. I know a lot of people always seem to compare, you know, Air Jordan 1 leather to the shattered backboards or you know the band ones that came out with the x on the back you know but the quality of leather is decent here you know it's not the worst but it's not the best as i've stated in previous air jordan one reviews that i've done i love this whole black toe theme thing that jordan brand has been doing as of late of course guys you know we have the original black toes that came out there's yellow toes the unc toes and even the celtic ones you know that's pretty much a black toe colorway. I understand that the Air Jordan 1 release after release after release, it's the same shoe guys, I get that. But there's just something about the different colorways that they add on the Air Jordan 1 that just scream to me, you know? I don't know if it feels that way with you guys, but like I could wear Air Jordan 1s for the rest of my life, man. I just love the overall aesthetic and just the mold of this shoe, man, it's beautiful. But going to more details of the shoe, you have that black leather swoosh traditionally on the Air Jordan 1. You also have the beautiful Wings logo right there on the upper heel of the shoe. And of course, you have the black leather surrounding the entire shoe followed with the different panels of the white. And then of course, you get that nice UNC blue surrounding the back of the sneaker and also on the toe box area. You get a white rubber midsole surrounding the entire shoe. You also get a rubber sole with that Nike stamp and that UNC blue colorway followed with the traditional stars on the Air Jordan 1 soles. Followed with that, you get the nice mesh on the tongue 
and you get the Nike Air with that nice UNC blue hit. You get black insoles as well, followed with the UNC blue that is printed on. So as far as sizing goes on the Air Jordan 1, guys, I would say go true to size. I would not go a half size down. These Air Jordan 1s or just Air Jordan 1s in general tend to run a little narrow in the toe box area for me personally. I have wide feet, so you know I always try to go get a size 11, although I have been able to fit in some 10 and a halfs. Like I know with Nike Dunks, especially the low tops, I could wear a 10 and a half, no problem. But with the Air Jordan 1s, for some reason, I have to wear a size 11. Also, as a bonus, you do get some UNC blue laces that are similar coloring to the toe box and this blue on this Air Jordan 1 sneaker. I've also seen people that have swapped it out and use their own personal white laces on this Air Jordan colorway, which makes the shoe pop. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep it with the plain black. Like I said, guys, I think the black toe colorways really complement each other with the black laces. You know, I don't want the shoe to pop too much. You know, I think the colors will do that pretty much just fine. But again, if you're the type of person that wants your shoes to really stand out, I think putting white laces or even the UNC blue on these sneakers will make the shoe stand out a lot. And that is going to wrap up my review for the Air Jordan 1 UNC toes. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this release. Did you cop? Did you pass? Did you try to cop? Take an L, you know, whatever. I'd love to hear what you guys and gals think about this sneaker. And also let me know what you guys think about this release and where it stands on your list of the year so far. This has definitely been a top anticipated release for me personally. I would place this up there with with the white cement three imagines that dropped earlier this year as well and also with the playoff 13s i think those are just some notable releases that i really enjoyed copying so far this year there are a couple of other sneakers that i am looking to add later on this year i know we're going to be getting the playoff eights pretty soon which i'm really excited for the cherry 12s are also coming out and the burgundy fives is a sleeper sneaker that i had before but I never really got to wear because they started to crumble on me, man. But I'm glad that Jordan brand is starting to pay homage to a lot of the older colorways, guys. I'm really excited for these ones. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribing to my channel because I would greatly appreciate it. And ring the bell icon, that way you don't miss any type of sneaker review or any video or shenanigan that I post for you guys and gals on my channel. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me. I'm gonna head on out of here and your boy Rez will catch you in the next video. We out, peace.